Hi, my name is Sean with MakerBot Learning. Installing threaded brass inserts in your 3D prints is a really great way to make long-lasting 3D printed enclosures. So in this video, we'll cover some of the best practices associated with installing threaded brass inserts in your 3D prints. In order to install threaded inserts in one of your 3D prints, you'll need some supplies. A soldering iron, threaded brass inserts with matching machine screws, washers, pliers, a vise, heat-resistant gloves, eye protection, and a respiratory mask. When purchasing threaded brass inserts, be sure to purchase inserts slightly larger than the diameter of the hole you plan to install them in. Typically, manufacturers will specify how large the hole should be. When installing inserts, changing a few print settings in MakerBot Print can be a big help. In order to ensure your inserts are secure, you can increase the number of shells in your print. This will leave more plastic around the holes. Once you have selected your print settings, you can send it to your printer. We chose the MakerBot Replicator Plus. Before installing your inserts, it's important that your model is secure. We used a multi-axis vise that allowed us to work on the model from a few different angles. Before we were successful, we experimented a bit. Be careful not to overheat the brass insert. Here is an example of one that destroyed the void as it was too hot. In order to properly install inserts, it's important that we install gradually in order to avoid overheating, push gently on inserts as the heat transfers through the brass quickly, and hold the insert in place with pliers until it's secure. If you follow these tips, you should be able to easily install threaded brass inserts in your next enclosure. After installing our brass inserts, we then threaded our screws through the lid and into our box until tight. Be careful not to over tighten. If you do, you may break the insert free from the surrounding plastic. In this case, we had plenty of screws to install, so we repeated this step until complete. After complete, this installation yielded a strong, long-lasting enclosure. You just learned how to take your prints beyond the build plate. If you're looking for more applications, Check us out at MakerBot.com or on our YouTube channel. And remember, if you try this at home, share it with us on Thingiverse or social media. We can't wait to see what you make.